What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Masters video. And so it's been about a week since I started playing, and I'm going to put together a more comprehensive video of what my current thoughts are on the video game or on the gacha game. But I really want to emphasize one thing, and I'm actually going to be just like farming some gym books while while we talk. Uh, there's one point that I really want to emphasize, and that is that this game is not a race. Uh, I do think that the game will be released soon. Um, shout outs to Marvic Desk Gaming. I'm assuming the U is silent because it's Desu, or uh, like Japanese, I believe it would be pronounced as Des. So Marvic Desk Gaming uh, pointed out to me that you can actually play the game without VPN right now, and there's some speculation. While I think you still need to create your account on a Singapore IP, like once it's kind of associated with that region, then I think you can play without VPN. Uh, I'm honestly still using VPN just to Play it safe there's no reason not to i already have it uh but maybe there's some speculation that means the game is soon going to be released um and you know just to answer a couple of questions that people have asked a couple of times like oh can this carry over when it kind of goes to comes to the us or global um there's still no confirmation that i'm aware of uh, however, I will say that you can already link it to your Nintendo account, which I have not done yet. I'm kind of waiting for someone else to uh, kind of confirm that I can transfer it. And there's no reason for me to link it right now. But to me, that is a positive indicator that there will be no problem transferring this to a different region. Um, although, unless linking is more for transferring to devices. But anyway, still unconfirmed. Uh, therefore, you know, there's very unlikely that I would spend money on this at any near point um, but yeah back to the fact how this game is not a race and I really want to you know hammer this point home just because uh, when you can finally play this game and it's it's a pretty it's a good game it's a lot of fun uh, but it is a gotcha game and it's a mobile gotcha game so there with that comes some different uh, some some things that you should know and uh, my experience with the gacha games primarily revolves around two specific games that is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius uh, English and Japanese global and Japanese version and then Dragalia Lost uh, and from my experience in those games is that content basically rolls out every single week every single week or most weeks there's a new banner so you can get new characters or for Pokemon Masters maybe uh, new sync pairs um, and there's also every like month or so there's maybe a month or every week or whatever there's new content to play there's new events there's new chapters for the campaign and stuff like that uh, and you have to really bear that in mind when you jump in this game because um, you know I'm not involved in uh, mobile game development but I am uh, I actually do work like in the software engineering field and I I imagine like games like this they kind of come out where it's like all right we just got to put together a minimum viable product and release it out to market and even if it's not a lot of content right now we're going to continue to add content so that's okay just get out to market and I think that this is kind of a it's exactly that you know there's there's not a lot to do there's you know the campaign it's okay amount but if you kind of like rush through it and that's my point it's don't this is not a race it's not a sprint uh you know play it's a game have fun with it you know as you collect different sync pairs use the ones you want try different things don't feel like you just have to beeline it to get to the end because you'll get to the end really quickly and i think the worst thing that could happen especially if you're going to spend money on it because like oh maybe you really want the houndoom or you really want the lichen rock lichen rock is so strong by the way <laughs> i don't have that's my only uh a summoned five star but it is amazing but like let's say you know let's say you get it and then you but you beeline right through the the content you probably be you could be done in like a day or two if you really tried at that point, honestly, like especially if you spend money, you'll be super bored. So like literally what I'm doing right now, this is this is the only thing to do in this game. Uh, every like twice a day there's those super courses to to fight and you know I can use the same team to beat every single one. But you know, at that point there's there's no other content and you know I'm in this holding pattern where all I do is farm these gym books. Luckily I can just auto it, so I don't I just have it going while I play while I do something else but you know that that's why I really want to emphasize is enjoy the game you know if I were to make an analogy think about the first Pokemon game you played you know uh, the red or blue the yellow gold silver you know there's oh uh, yeah there's maybe like 
50 times as much content, but you know, there's never a rush. And maybe it's this whole like of the age of, you know, YouTube and and where you know where everyone's at and there's all these videos of people like doing like end game content and you feel like you want to get there. Like, I think that's completely the wrong mentality for a game like this, you know, just enjoy it because yeah, if you, it's not a sprint. If you go through a sprint, yeah, just like a 100 meter dash, you'll be done real quick and then there'll be nothing to do. And we spent money like, all right, well, this game is boring now, you know? It's a video game, guys. Just enjoy it, have fun, uh, do what comes to mind. Otherwise, you know, you'll be at this stage where, all right, we're just farming these gym books. Like, okay, let me, let me queue up again, see if I can get, and oh, we didn't get it. And this grind is like, you know, unless you're kind of like me, you're doing something else at the same time. This grind's not that fun. Let's take a look. So I've been doing this for a while. Um, and let's see how many gym books we have. We've uh, evolved or leveled up max three Pokemon. So that's maybe like 10 gym books. And we, only, we still and we only have 24 left. So I've acquired like mid 30, maybe like 35 gym books so far. And that's all there is to do right now. So, um, yeah, these, that's just my own thoughts is, you know, the game's fun, but you have to have the right mentality. Uh, you know, back to like the Game Boy games, you know, there was no rush. You kind of just like kind of navigated. Sometimes, oh, you know what, let me just train some Pokemon. Oh, like, oh, this found this new one in the wild. I'm just going to catch it and I want to work with it. I'll put the, put the story on hold. Maybe there's some side quests. Like this game doesn't have any events yet, but there will probably be some events that are kind of like side quests kind of things. Uh, so you can just, you know, take it easy and basically, you know, do what, do what you want to. Don't feel like there's a rush because you'll be done real fast. So so I do want to make one more point that I kind of missed on my first recording, so um, just a quick follow-up is one thing I've kind of forgot to mention is that most, or gotcha games that I've played previously, they kind of have like a stamina system or some kind of energy system where usually like every five minutes you get like one, one energy or whatever and you use that energy to do like the missions. And, you know, Pokemon Masters, I, it's very interesting that it doesn't have it. And that kind of like sets like, we'll call it like a speed limit for those gacha games that do. And it's not that you can't speed through the content, you can, but it's kind of you have to use your currency in order to do so. It's kind of like, oh, well, when you run out of energy, you can spend 100 gems and then you refill your energy and then you can continue. But it kind of adds like a natural speed limit unless you're going to pay, which is not I which is like very much not recommended because it's kind of like at that point you're spending money just to advance a story where you know time energy is somewhat free as in you uh, over time you gradually accumulate more but again Pokemon Masters doesn't have this concept which is to be honest I'm a little surprised um, but as so as a result that's why I mean you can just keep going you can keep doing all the missions play non-stop and um, but yeah and, and then for myself for example like all I'm doing is Farming, farming Brock, poor Brock. I saw like a funny meme where it's just like he's like in this death loop and just like the the Karinas are just and the Lucarias are just getting him, keep keep destroying him over and over again and that's all and that all that's all he experiences. Um, so yeah, I just want to make that clarification uh, in case so uh, in case it was confusing. You know, it's, it's that lack of the stamina system that allows you speed through the material, which, you know, I just want to stress, you know, you shouldn't do, don't feel like you have to, um, just because you'll wrap up and then you'll be bored. To be honest, like, I'm a little bored. Uh, I struggling to get to another 3000 gems to get some new Pokemon. Like I'm like, I, I don't think it's a good idea to spend any money on it. Um, but you know, oh, I need something new to do. Um, uh, so ho I hope this guys, this helps out everyone and, um, yeah, especially something to keep in mind when you the game is available to everyone and it's a really good game really fun I definitely encourage you to play it, but just yeah, don't rush. It's not a race um, So that's all I wanted to say guys as always. Thanks for watching like comment subscribe all down below I'm Wanda Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time